peace to the to the peace to the family. What's going on with y'all? This ain't the one I want. This the one I want. We yes, rich risings indeed. We are in the vibrations of a Capricorn new moon. So around new moons, I like to do new moon intentions and rituals. The reason that I say set your intentions during a new moon is because your melatonin is at its highest and your melatonin is the building blocks to your reality. We don't live in a world where we are victims of politicians and overlords like some may think. We live in a world of projection. But we project our life in our world through our intuition. So when we understand that our intuition is something that has to be kind of worked with, we have to understand our intuition. We got to actually work it out like a muscle by trusting the the the, the non-physical tuning in to the non-physical, learning how to meditate, learning how to focus, which is also diff doubly difficult in the world that we live in. Albeit I'm on Instagram, Instagram do a good job at distracting people, right? Um, social media. If you ain't into social media, then you watching TV. You got Amazon, you got fucking Netflix, you got HBO Max. You know, it's a lot of different things that are going to pull you away from your own personal source. The reason that is, is because we can create our own world if we trust it and we knew how powerful we are on the non-physical level. Melatonin is that actual bridge between our physical worlds and in our non-physical worlds. So generally, we need to intend some things to give our life a certain type of purpose. So within this conversation, I'm gonna just go into the minutia of this Capricornian new moon. And I really want y'all to be really open-minded about what you can intend. If you got goals, wishes, and dreams in your life right now, this is the time to write it down. This is the time to really focus. This is the time to know, right? This is the time to know that you can actually manifest everything and anything that you want, when you want it, how you want it, where you want it, exactly how you want it if you're willing to write it down. So when we reference intentions, a lot of people don't understand their personal intentions so therefore they don't write shit down. They just take what life give them. And I always say, if you do not intend your life, somebody else is going to intend your life for you and you're not going to like it. So I'm all for plans. I'm all for preparation. I'm all for patience and working those things out, especially if you want it right. Generally, people be saying that they want shit, but they really don't want it or it's not really for them. So you got to really be keen on your intuitions tied into your intentions to know what you want from a non-physical level. So in order to get that full clarity, you have to understand Capricornian energy. Now we've been in the realm of Capricorn for a while. We had a Jupiter, we had a Jupiter and Saturn conjunction in Sidereal Capricorn that started off 2020. That was major for me and my family. Um, we spent time in Florida, really getting close to the energy as it was in its full conjunction, really allowing that energy to bathe over us and then getting the lessons of Capricorn. So we got to be astrological with our conversation so we can have a full overarching view so it can't be denied. So give me one second to pull up the the pictures that I had, or if I had them, there we go. I think, you know, here we go right here. Boom. So what you see is a Capricornian, like this is astronomy. 
if you're talking about astrology, then you're talking about an after effect of astronomy. We are the original people. We don't necessarily need astrology, family. All we need is astronomy. Astrology helps us, but it's not the end all be all because it's not in alignment with astrology. It's the same way as you would, would you watch the news from 1965 and they telling you about what's happening today in January 3rd, 1965. And you autumn, but you know, for real that it's, um, whatever date it is two eleven. shout out to Whitney Houston, right? We know it's two eleven, twenty twenty one. 2021. We can all bear witness to this. Western astrology says, no, it's not that date. You know what I'm saying? So generally the sidereal of the actual chart, it shows us that there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven planets in Capricorn. This will be a make or break reality if you're serious about intending your life. Because the reality of your higher self is way more realer than the reality of anything else. So you need to stop for a second. Because you can get so caught up in everything that's going on around you. That you don't even stop and honor your tangible and real higher self. How do you know that you have a tangible and real higher self? Because the body is just a vessel. The body is just a vehicle. And I'm looking at a car right now in a garage. That car will perpetually stay in that garage until somebody gets in it and drive it. So your body is like a car. Generally, the more tangible, real aspect to your whole life is the non-physical aspect of your reality, the driver to the vehicle. But when I talk to people, when I get a sense on people, when I get a read on people, when I fully tap into people, they never stopped and thought about this. Because the people who realize this, they Capricornians, they go out on their own way. A woman might say, man, I don't like no Capricorn man, right? Because they too busy. They all about their money, right? And then she say, yeah, I had to dump the cancer too, because he was too emotional and he ain't have no money. To which a Capricornian say, shit, I'd rather get this money. I'd rather focus on my life than be romantic. But that don't mean that a Capricorn don't love you. See, a Capricorn will, will, will be the person that you go to when you're homeless. This is where you get into love languages and things of that nature. To which a lot of women seek romance as the signifier for love. And generally, the best friend, the one that you always call for $20, the one that give you a ride back and forth to work, that nigga love you in real time. But maybe he too focused and too much of a solid ass dude to ever lower himself into romantic energy. Because romantic energy is not a, a natural intuitive sense or else you would have came opening the door in some lingerie off the rip. Every time you would have showed me sensuality from the door. If that's what you want, romance. So generally, don't expect a Capricorn to be romantic. But do expect the Capricorn to love you in a most in a most positive and powerful way. I'm dealing with sidereal astrology. If you don't know now, you know. And if you know, you know. And if you don't know, you might be broke. Shout out to Babyface Ray. And Moneybag, yo. So when you think about Capricorn energy, why is it so powerful? Because it'll transcend you from any type of situation ever. The ability I was so this is how it works out. I knew 
I knew I was in sync. I was in tune today because I just came from my barber. My barber didn't even say two words to me today, y'all. This N-I-G-G-E-R. Going to be on the phone talking to this girl the whole entire time he was cutting my damn hair. I wasn't mad, but I knew the vibes. I said, that's big cat. That's big Capricorn vibes. That's big Capricorn energy. Y'all remember the last live I did? I said mental, emotional, passion, and then physical. But I know my barber, he might, the way they've been talking, he say they've been talking for the past four hours. I like, bro, you might smash that tonight, but don't. Y'all got a wonderful mental frequency and spirit is showing you what can be. It ain't showing you what is. So generally, we get those inclinations and indications. This is a soulmate channel, right? And in order, you might be like, well, damn, I don't got my soulmate. We wasn't focusing on your bag. My barber work at night. He don't even get off work. He, he get off work, don't go to sleep. He start cutting hair and shit till three. Then he go home and go to sleep. Wake up, do the whole shit. By by law, the universe had to send him a thotty. Guess what his guess what his girl do? She do hair. So they sitting there talking about, oh yeah, we could rent out a whole boutique. We could do this. We could do that. See the mental, right? But I know if if the vagina get wet and the penis get hard, and you break that, and you break that, you don't you you take the mental for granted then it's nothing to build. And all that hot shit that you was talking about at the beginning of the conversation when y'all met on the new moon don't even matter. It don't even it don't even resonate cuz you was too hot and bothered and you had to get you had to smack them cheeks. But the reality is like I don't know. Maybe it's two people. Maybe it's two people, right? that can be on this live that's interested in another and they're like well i really want this relationship to work though maybe you in your 30s maybe you just tired of liking a motherfucker then not standing a motherfucker and you really want to have a serious relationship you then tie it into your partnership and you build the mental components. You might talk every day for the first 21 days and just get to know each other, learn each other's stories, catch up on shit, learn about that mug. And the more you learn, you start to catch up on things. By the 21st day, you might know, damn, it's Thursday. It, she like she like getting a manicure on Thursday. So you get her a gift card for manicures because you done built up a mental repertoire with this person that you can kind of get a sense for their routine. And you're not trying to disrupt or throw off their pH balance. You're trying to assist that homeostasis. Because generally what needs to come together is a slow buildup of communication and community. Generally, when you splash two energies together, maybe they was compatible, but maybe the frequency was two to one, right? But when you so horny, you don't give a fuck about nothing mental, no chemistry, no biology. You're just trying to see what them cheeks look like, what it feel like. You understand what I'm saying? That's the dark side of Capricorn energy. Capricorn energy is the phallus. It's masculine energy. But then there is sperm that is not mature. Then it is sperm that has caught a vibe for the energy that it is getting acquainted with. Y'all ever breed dogs? I ain't never bred dogs. Somebody on this chat probably breed dogs. It's a sense of sniffing each other out, right? And since we not dogs, maybe humans got to sniff each other out for a longer amount of time just so our biology can become in sync. So when we start bumping and grinding and shit like that, it ain't going to disrupt nothing. It ain't going to move you off of your path because generally you're not going to want to be on the highway and, and, and just swerve to the left or swerve to the right. 
you want to either get off or the exit, merge to the left, you got to have some cognizance of the the ease that it that it requires to stand in your masculine to be desirable. The problem with men is that we only desirable as long as we demand and respect. And generally, if a person don't know you, that's 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 like uh like you know what I'm saying like um the score is zero to zero, basically. And every time, and we're gonna talk about this because Jupiter is conjunct Venus in Capricorn. So generally, your wife or your divine feminine energy is going to develop a phallus. But then that creates competition, that creates resentment, that creates jealousy, that creates stagnation and breakups and shit like that. Because we're not aware of the astrological understandings in real time. So generally what men would feel in a relationship, what women would feel in a relationship, they would just either ignore the shit entirely or they will begin to address, okay, we feel this way. But we got to get into one part as to why we don't build on real shit no more. I'm going to show you why. Because people, this is why, this is why motherfuckers just say new moon in Aquarius when the new moon is in Capricorn, right? Because everybody want to be fucking agreeable and you could be a hundred percent agreeable and a hundred percent wrong. It's, it's a lot of people who will say men ain't shit, but then they'll tune into the hood mystic faithfully. How do that work? I'm a man. So generally you listening to a nigga who ain't shit every day. So how do that work in your mind? How do you how do you say men on average ain't shit? But this dude right here, he he's special. He different. No, I'm just like every other man that you knew in your life. I got bad sides and good sides, but I'm not a person that goes with the crowd. I'm a person that does independent study and I share. And I'm not looking for you to agree with me. If you can find a fucking telescope and you can match up the planets to the constellations and show me the sun and moon and Aquarius, you got my utmost respect. But I be looking at this shit on the daily. It's my life. It's how I feed my children. So generally, I'm going to speak out on factual actuals and not on fucking razzmatazz and, and, and following the crowd. Because you got to come to that conclusion. If you see a whole bunch of people doing a bunch of the same shit, they might be doing the wrong thing. We don't want to read by ourselves. We don't want to investigate where the sun and the moon is at. We just want to take somebody else's word on it. To which you want to reference Aquarius. Cool. But I want to deal with something tangible and real that can save your life. We are at the cusp of power if you go outside of this new moon not understanding that you are power then you messed up and you got to catch another cycle and i don't want that for you i want you to get it now i want you to hold your power now i want your power to be tangible now in the non-physical because we are fully encapsulated in big capricorn energy big masculine energy and a lot of y'all don't want to deal with that. Y'all just want to deal with, with pussy power, yoni power, and I love yoni. I love it. But I also love myself, and I also love my energy. Men can't just not be shit out here. We can't just be that. Because I... I'm talking to my barber. I'm talking to my fucking father-in-law. I'm talking to my brother-in-law. I'm talking to my homies. I got a whole selection of dudes that I work with every day. It's men in this chat room. You can't, you can't, you can't just say men ain't shit. You can't just demean the phallus. You can't just, just, just write off the phallus for its needs, its wants, and say, oh, you're just not fucking romantic. This nigga made a million dollars last year and you giving him hell because he not romantic. Okay, get you a ro get you a broke ass romantic nigga. You'll be running to the big cap. You'll be running to the big cap like <laughs> with your arms wide open. Please save me from this romantic ass broke nigga. Oh my God. Just ignore me. Ignore me and pay the rent. 
Focus on your goals and pay the rent. I'm so sorry I came at you like that on that romantic shit. Because cause what needs to be done in this world is big cap shit. I know that you want to go to work every day and collect a paycheck. But that big Capricorn is thinking about investing his money. He thinking about, you know how much shit that your, that your husband got on his mind? No, you ain't never fucking ask him, nor do you care. You just look at that bank account. You just look at your lifestyle. You just charge that motherfucking credit card. And you hold on to that, to the, to the only thing that you have, which is emotionalism. But that was in Scorpio. So if you haven't refined your emotions to the point that you tapped into your ancestors and Sagittarius that prepared you for big cap energy, you got to wait for another cycle. And that's going to be hard. And that's what y'all not ready for. And that's what's going to drive y'all crazy because y'all really imagine that emotions is going to propel y'all that if you keep crying yourself to sleep, that somehow something is going to happen for you. But you didn't have big cap energy enter your life, but you done took it away because you couldn't handle it. Because you didn't want to understand or learn that person's love language because you figured you too good for that. You too good for that. Well, you've been following the crowd. You've been listening to what other people say. Everybody say that black man ain't shit. So I just assume that black man ain't shit. Albeit you cool. He cool. He cool. He ain't never done nothing to me. He even asked me out to dinner, but you know, niggas ain't shit. He he ha ha. You sound like you, you it's, it, it need, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just baffled at this shit at this point. Stupid baffled. Big cap energy, shy. Big cap energy. Leave, hey, hey, if you give your wife, if you give your wife, credit cards, debit cards, money to spend. She don't work. She don't think about money. You big cap energy. Maybe you ain't the most romantic person. Maybe you don't be into sucking feet. Maybe you don't fuck her like she want to get fucked all the time. Like she want to get fucked because you got a lot of shit on your mind, but you do lay the pipe because you are big cap energy. You do that too. Right, because if it wasn't for that, she wouldn't even have been physically attracted to you. So you do do that too. It's just that you haven't been respected. You haven't been valued. The feminine energy in your life is not grateful that you're there. The feminine energy don't appreciate you, big cat. It's some niggas with some money right now that that's that's fucking breaking down crying right now because they know what I'm saying ain't nothing but the fucking Bible. See, can't see that's what it is, though, that cancer energy and that Capricorn energy is one and the same. See, I ain't got the money like a big cat. You understand? But this moon and cancer is romantic than a motherfucker. I'm romantic in all types of ways. I'm I'm romantic, but I just can't. I just don't got the money like the big cap do. I'm, I'm like your husband. I'm cloaked in disguise. You know what I mean? But learning. See where they at. This is another part of where they're at. They're all around you. Once you begin to see part of Capricorn energy is knowing. Right? Part of Capricorn energy is preparation. Part of Capricorn energy is planning. You don't plan and prep. You don't plan and, and prepare. Like where they at? There ain't no niggas around here. I ain't gonna never find no niggas. You gotta wait for another cycle, cause your emotions is going to knock you out. You can't go into a plan of manifesting a divine masculine and saying that no, they ain't out here like that. You ain't really big cat. Where I'm from is a space of truth and knowing, and it'll be other people that'll validate me. But you have to begin to open up your mind. In a new moon with your melatonin to know that you are ready for Big Cat. Because as soon as I start telling you what Big Cat want, you're going to be like, uh-uh, I don't want to do all of that. What you mean? 
I don't want to be ironing no man's clothes, having his clothes ready for him. I'm not submissive. I ain't doing none of that shit. I'm an alpha. I'm out here to get mines. Y'all gonna respect me, but I want a man. That's when we then start to talk about, do you understand? Do you value? Are you grateful? Are you appreciative for Big Cat? Because if you're not, you then begin to set the intention. I'm planning and preparing to be appreciative and grateful for my divine masculine. I know that my divine masculine is out here because I'm preparing and planning and I'm open and I'm soft and I'm easy and I'm ready. I'm about to make his life so fucking, so fucking good. He can't wait to fucking meet me. I'm about to shower him with all of this love, all of this positivity. And I know that that's not what y'all are giving. Unless you're giving it. Then if you're giving it, you got the man there. And if you just really telling the nigga that he can kiss your ass because he done made a milli or a hundred racks last year, you got the brain is twisted. Because you can easily get a scrub out here. Scrubs is easy to get. So it has to be, this is more psychic. So when we reference psychic, we reference knowing. Because your soul knows. But if you if your soul knows that, man, ain't nobody fucking with me out here in these streets. You begin to fucking just, just expect nothing. And live like nothing. Where they at? I can't find them. I ain't gonna never find them. They don't want me when they find me. So what the fuck is the point? I ain't gonna give them no positive energy. I'm gonna tell him to kiss my ass. But where the niggas at though? It don't really necessarily work like that. In in a magical psychic sense. And that's the perspective that I'm coming at. Generally, it's a it's a it's 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 like being Psychically in tune with yourself because yourself is the opposite gender. So the more that you begin to in tune with yourself, the easier it is to attract and then to actually be in contact with that deeper spiritual Capricornian bond. Now, if you're talking about anything else, then you're going to be slightly confused because we're referencing power. When you look at power all over the world, it's not based upon individuals. No individual, you can't name me an individual that just be out here holding power. Because as soon as you say an individual, I'm going to tell you the company that they run and the hundreds of thousands of people that they employ. So come again. And generally, you can have a name, but even that name has to have a marketing plan. It has to have a brand. It has to have a whole bunch of shit associated with it to even be validated as a real thing. So when you reference partnerships, when you reference purpose, you have to then be fully engulfed in your higher self. Now, your higher self comes in two varieties. God and Satan, God and the devil, Jesus and the devil, good and bad. Your higher self holds frequencies in both energies. Your higher self would be more, more, your lower self would be that of Mercury. And then your higher self would be that more of Saturn. Mercury, the trickster, right? Ishu, the opener of the way. Now you're dealing with Saturn. Saturn is that father figure. Now, Saturn is an interesting thing. We got to actually talk about Saturn because we got to fully break this shit down. This might not be what you're ready for, but this is actually what it is. So before life created. So it's a, it's a mythology, right? It's a mythology about Saturn that he would swallow his kids and then Zeus free all of his brothers and sisters 
right? But Zeus is Jupiter. Saturn is Kronos. But that's actually astronomy. Now, before the planets were in the solar system, all of the planets were in Saturn. But the first planet to come out of that bubble, because all planets are gassy. They're not like Earth. They're they're mostly gas. But Saturn is Earth and water. This is this and this is where it matters. Jupiter freed all of the planets outside of Saturn because Saturn wanted to be the only planet in the galaxy. I don't know why, but that was that was his bag. Then he freed all of the planets. And now we have all of the planets rotating around the sun. But before this, this is what you will see, right? What you will see in like Mesopotamia on their flags, you will see like a crescent moon, right? And you will see a palm tree. You ever, you, you think that that's just for a crescent moon? No, that was for the actual only light that would come through because... Earth wasn't the first planet to get out, but life still existed on Earth in Saturn. This is this is going to I'm going to make it make sense. Just give me a second. So once and this is the mythology, you can Google the Greek mythology. Just Google um, Saturn and swallowing his kids. Right. You think that that mythology was what do you think that mythology was for? Right. If it, if that mythology exists, what the fuck are they talking about? This is what they're talking about. This is why it makes sense, right? So as Earth leaves Saturn, it takes with it water and Earth. So if you Google it, you will see that the water from Earth is directly connected to Saturn. And generally... When the Egyptians were creating civilization, they weren't dealing with the sun of the light. They weren't dealing with the, the, the light of the sun. They were dealing with the light of Saturn. That's why they was able to build pyramids and shit. That's why we get the light from the sun. You ask us to build a pyramid. We don't even know how the fuck to do it. I know that don't make sense to you. Hopefully it makes sense to one motherfucking person out here. But they don't even, we don't even know how to build pyramids no more. And they also say during that time, it was a specific darkness over the land that allowed for cultivation to be so prosperous. And even more so, they say that Mesopotamia was like lush and shit. If you go to that bitch now, it's just sand and dirt. To which that's a shift in perspective between the, the rays of energy that were inundating the planet. So when you look in the Bible, bro, they reference the God L. And then when you talk L, E L, you can Google E L and then Saturn. They say L is another word for Saturn. So the God in the Bible, dog, is Saturn. Because Saturn was the father of the universe by the very nature of it. So as these energies expand from Saturn, we still have a Saturnian influence. And I'm referencing Saturn because Saturn rules Capricorn, meaning that Saturn's energies, especially so not only are they exalted in Capricorn, but we're coming off a retrograde, a Saturn retrograde. So what, what is happening is that primal paternal consciousness is invading the land. So what the fuck does that look like in real terms? You can't fucking get an application on your phone. Y'all bear witness. Am I lying or if I'm flying? You can, you can Google MetaTrader. You can set a trade for a fucking dollar and that'll be worth $500. And you, and if that trade goes up another dollar, that's $500. If it goes up $20, you do $500 times 20. That's fucking, you could have made 20,000 in two seconds. Based upon the ability 
to tap into Saturnian masculine energy. Now it's still people going to work. And it's other people who can create money from an app from their phone. Because they can, if you gave yourself three months, eight hours a day of learning Forex or learning stocks or learning futures or learning how, learning anything in relation to the financial markets. If you gave yourself three months of studying investing, of studying real estate, you would never fucking look back. But you're too fucking busy and too in the space of following the crowd. You're being instructed by people that you hold in higher esteem than those who think differently. What, what this represents is a Kala Sharpa. And this represents great highs or great lows. Getting it all or getting nothing at all. And it's all represented in Capricorn. And the space of Capricorn is your higher self. Your higher self is not completely feminine as we like to imagine it to be. There is a masculine aspect of planning, perfection, not my perfection, planning, preparation. You could even get into purpose. But what I'm really trying to get to the crux of is, is power. Power. All that I'm referencing now is power. Everything that I've said up to this point should move you to power. You can get into anything, but you got to cut shit off. If you serious, if you want to learn anything, real estate, don't be trying to balance two things at once. Because what you're trying to balance is probably things that not even making you happy. Not even bringing you resources. And of course, a lot of people say, man, I can't just do that. And I got to keep working. I got to keep jerking. I got to keep surviving. And this is why we tap back into big cap energy. If you had big cap energy in your life, you could stop fucking working. What I just say? I said if you had big cap energy in your life. What up, Doc? Shout out to shout out to you. Shout out to you. And uh, and and bringing forth the the birth of big cap energy. Follow your passions, and money will follow you. But you can have more than one, like you said. Take from your past to create your corporation. Exactly. Exactly. I mean, you got to really follow your passions, though, and you got to be validated within your passions at some point. If you've been doing something for so long and you ain't got the credit that you feel you deserve yet, then maybe you probably ain't as good at it as you think you is. And you got to probably try something else or do something different. Big cap energy will keep you from working. If you have big cap energy in your life or cancer trying to be cap. So when you a cancer trying to be cap, you can't really be big cap. But big cap is like your uncle. You know what's right. You know what's right. You know if you got to work two jobs, you got to work two jobs. You know if you got to fucking hustle on the side, you got to hustle on the side. You know what the fuck you got to do to take care of your family and take care of your wife. I knew uh, initially once I met my wife that she shouldn't be fucking working. Whether I could afford to or not. Yeah, exactly. You got to be able to see the difference between something that I might like to do versus something that I know that I can wake up and do every single day and I wouldn't be mad if I did it. Big cap energy is waking up every day, looking at shit, studying shit, getting prepared for shit. I got a meeting next week. I got a meeting next month. You can't just... You can't just hit up Big Cap Energy like, why you don't call me no more? Because I'm busy. Because I'm busy. 
Yeah, you can DM me. Listen, if you got if you can't take three months off to to figure out your life, then this is another reason why you need to incorporate big cap energy in your life. Because Big Cap Energy, although he not the most romantic, he will allow the space for you to figure out, listen, bae, I'm not happy at my job and I really need to sort my life out and sort my shit out. Shit, just come stay with me. Sort it out, figure it out. But see, the integrity and the, and the heart that it, like, man, phew. 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 I tell you, man, we got so much work to do, but it's so much. It's 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 it, it, it's inspiring for me because it gives me a lot to do and a lot and a lot of work to kind of just like sit and focus on and kind of look forward to. But the shit do be interesting how clueless motherfuckers be at the end of the day, and I'm not talking about nobody in particular, but it's just like shit. We can actually do a lot together. But the emotions, like you can sense emotions when you, so when you ready, when you in Capricorn energy, it's like, like the bridge between Capricorn and the bridge between Pisces is not Pisces. Well, Pisces too. So say for instance, you got Capricorn and then you got on one side Pisces and then on the other side, you got Scorpio. Pisces and Scorpio are innately feminine. Masculine Capricorn is innately masculine, but there are two different constellations in between them, Sagittarius and Aquarius, right? In relationships, people really think relationships are just Capricorn and fucking Pisces or Scorpio. But when you are able to incorporate Sagittarius and Aquarius in your relationships, then you are fucking unstoppable. But y'all don't be wanting to bring your ancestors and your education into your relationships. Why, Sway? Why? Why don't you want to bring your ancestors into your relationship? The only, like, what do you, why are you separating your ancestors from somebody that you're giving your best to? At the very least, I can give you my ancestors, but I'm not going to give you no D. I'm not going, we're not going to do that. We're not about to have sex, but we can definitely have a, 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 a powwow. We can fucking light some sage and catch a vibration. Why do y'all go straight into, let's see what that Yoni hitting for, fellas. I promise you, I'm talking to the men right now. If you gave your dick a break in the space of communicating with women, you would be so much more successful than you are today. The fact that you cut off women, the fact that you emotionally are unavailable towards women because they don't want to give you any pussy allows you to be so unsuccessful in your current endeavors. Because maybe she comes to the realization, hey, I really do want to give him some pussy. But generally, if that's your instinct, if that's your primal point of reference, the modern woman can pick that shit up a mile away. She see you coming around the corner. Oh, he got his dick in his hands. That's all he want. Let me go this way. And you got a heart of gold, but you still got your dick in your hands because you haven't got out of your emotions towards every girl must want to fuck me first and then I'll get to know her. If the men think like that, we will not advance as a race. Our men have to fucking tuck it in between our legs until fucking future notice until we begin to see the fucking trees and flowers start to sprout up. Cause we done got enough pussy. Like we done fucked enough. We done seen enough porn. When I grew up, you you can only watch porn through the fucking static. I can only hear this shit. Uh, 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 and try to get my shit off from listening. Y'all got fucking X videos. <laughs> like, it's it's too much. Desensitize. Demoralize. Destabilize. Now they can do anything to us because we have no fucking morals when it comes to how we treat our women. 
It's still cultures that will get married. <laughs> we'll have a whole wedding out here and we will fuck and invite somebody in over and they'll just be our fucking boyfriend and our fucking girlfriend and we don't even see the fucking insanity in that shit. It's other people investing thousands of dollars within their community. They paying the caterer, they paying the fucking wedding planner, they paying the fucking person with the tables and chairs. We playing fucking Netflix and our fucking landlord and acting as if YouTube and Instagram free. We not even paying for our knowledge no more. So it's all fucked up if you ask me. But generally, you know, that gives me something to talk about and something to work towards and, you know, hold this space uh, for a beautiful future. And maybe not for me and my generation, but these is the information that I'll impart to my children and they'll look at me like I'm crazy too. And, uh, I'll just keep <laughs> existing in this planet as a crazy person. You understand what I'm saying? Um, but it is what it is. Uh, but so we got all of these energies in Capricorn, but we also have Mars and Uranus and Aries. So generally Mars is exalted in Aries. Right? When we reference planets, we reference influences, right? But the sun rules the day, right? But when you talk about the night, the sun is sleeping. The sun can't exist in the day. So around 2 a.m., the sun ain't just going to say, you know what, nigga, I changed my mind. I'm about to rise up up this bitch. Nope, you done, my guy. It's straight up celestial astral energy. So astral ties into astral, ties into star, ties into the soul. Or ties into the non-physical reality that we exist in when we go to sleep. The astral realm. So why do you talk about astrology so much? Because eight eight hours of the day, that's where we all at. And none of us none of us know the fucking schematics of the universe or the stars or none of that shit. Niggas just be in a dream world lost. And then people try to come to me and try to have sex. So now I got to do fucking protection rituals. I got to sleep with condoms on and shit like that. Because everybody just want to be having sex in the astral and shit like that. So, fuck. I've been making it a point to understand the nighttime shit. So my perspective is like more of a nighttime type of nigga. You understand what I'm saying? Like the dark side, but not like nothing evil. I mean, you can't help the fucking nighttime when the sun fucking set. Don't nobody go, oh my God, it's dark time. What should I do? This is evil. You know what I'm saying? Uh, or else, uh, unless they do, you know what I'm saying? But for the most time, it's dark. You trying to party, you trying to fuck. Me, I'm trying to study. I'm trying to learn. I ain't trying to go to sleep. Right, I ain't trying to lose my mind. I ain't trying to get high. I ain't trying to have sex. It's like you see me in the astral right realm. I got my notebook. Like, look at her fucking fake ass. You know what I mean? This motherfucker full of shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm catching the downloads, catching the waves. Cause at least I'm here. I'm not going to just fucking say, you know, forget the nighttime, forget the darkness. You know what I'm saying? That don't matter. Only thing that matters in the daytime. What comes in the dark eventually comes out into light so generally by the time motherfuckers try to figure out how i'm manifesting that shit done already sprouted into a full life tree because i was in the dark you know what i'm saying i was in the witching hours you feel me manifesting and if you keep this mindset nobody can fucking stop you because you create your world from the beginning by the time you wake up and you start to be like hood i can't focus i can't concentrate Sis, you a whole goddess out here. You a whole astral realm fucking powerhouse out here. Don't tell me what you can't manifest because it's like I can't manifest the tree after it's already been manifested, but I can go into my fucking... I can go to sleep tonight with the intentions to create a different reality to which I can see different trees or different vibrations and different things. And when I was single and didn't have no kids... I was a beast with this shit. 
I was too much of a beast with this shit. I was creating realities and worlds and in places that motherfuckers was like, you shouldn't be here, my guy. And I wasn't mature enough. So that's why my soul said, let's get this nigga some kids because he too much. You know what I'm saying? And let's give him a wife. You know what I mean? Because he needs to kind of be like, got to have that boundary. Saturn deals with boundaries and understanding boundaries it gives you more of a temper on the power of the creation that you actually can have and so mars being in aries uranus being in aries it's enacting a change in how we can create and how we can actually intend our lives it is much more of us knowing what we want and doing what the fuck we want by being whole. So I reference whole as being masculine and feminine, right? I reference whole as being good and bad, right? I reference whole by being young and old. And I also reference whole as being day and night. You don't get to tell me, oh, in the daytime, I'm a fucking guru. But at night, I cry myself to sleep. But since you don't see that, I don't have to tell you about it. Right? Boy, oh boy, so many people got to go and try again. And, you know, I'll be here in the next fucking nine months when the sun goes into Scorpio. You better have your fucking notebook ready. You better be prepared. Because when it's time to do alchemy next year, the people who missed out on it, I've been talking about shadow work for this whole fucking 2020. Hood always talking about shadow work. But I can hide things from people. You can hide things from people, but you can't hide things from yourself. And so people will be asking on their Facebook and Instagram, whatever happened to such and such who was doing all of the spiritual shit? Remember, remember such and such used to do spiritual videos? What happened to such and such? What happened to such and such? Y'all ever notice how dry conscious videos and shit be and things of that nature? You'd be like, what happened? Motherfucker was trying to fool himself. <laughs> Sis was trying to fool herself. She wasn't trying to fool me. She wasn't trying to fool you. She was trying to fool herself, right? You can't fool yourself because yourself would come back on you like, uh-uh, it's time to pay the fucking reaper. And you think that you're not going to be able to do shadow work. You think that you're not going to be able to do alchemy. You think that because people like you, people like your personality, that you can just show up day in and day out of fraud. <laughs> Yourself going to take care of you. So that's why I'm not a vengeful spirit. It may seem like I'm a vengeful spirit, but I'm not. I watch motherfuckers fuck themselves up all the time and then blame me for it like I was the one that did it. Generally, I'm the observer and I'm the cool one in the situation because I know you're going to play yourself and yourself is going to be there to fuck you up. Not me. I'm a big back and be bulled the entire time. You understand? And I'm going to just kind of ride through the city, do my deliveries, smoke my blunts, take care of my kids and love my wife and keep it a player, keep it a buck, keep it a hundred, honor my contract. You understand what I'm saying? Meet cool OGs out here in these streets that respect the young niggas grind. And I can look up to them and they can pass down that wisdom because it's big Capricorn energy season. Pluto is at the cusp of Capricorn. So generally the transition and transformation that's about to take place over these next 20 years is big cap energy. But you got to open yourself up to be led. If you can't understand that, I don't really know shit. And the people that I fuck with, they don't know shit either. And I know that we don't know shit because I go to sleep every night crying. What would be really, really nice would be to go to sleep next to some big cat energy, right? Let me, let me not worry so much about this shit so much. And understand that big cap energy need to be treated good. You understand me? He need to be treated so fucking good. You need to ask him, am I doing a good job? Because I just want to make sure that I'm treating you good enough. Like, I want to I wanna give you the, I want to go the extra mile. I've been reading Napoleon Hill, and I want to go the extra mile with you, babe. Am I loving you deep enough? Am I loving you hard enough? Because I realize that you got big cap energy, and generally I take that shit for granted. I don't be appreciating it all the time. 
But I listened to this video today and I'm realizing some shit about my energy and about my life and how fortunate I am and how grateful I am to have you. Because a lot of women don't have you, but I have you and I'm and I'm happy that I have you. And, and I can't just take that shit for granted because you got feelings, too. And I got to make sure that I'm in tune with your feelings because I value this connection. I value this contract. This is something that is satisfying to my soul. It's a lot of people on the Internet that's talking a whole bunch of shit, but they don't have what I have in this moment. That shit, that shit right there, that's purpose. Because tomorrow ain't fucking promise. And maybe we don't do shit tomorrow. Maybe we just keep it. Maybe we just fucking lay in the bed and fucking eat Cheetos and shit. But we big cap energy like we we together in the in the midst of this shit and we figuring this shit out together. Right. That beats anything. But to be in union, to be in your relationships, to appreciate it. That's some old devilish evil shit right there because everybody else in your life, <laughs> they don't know nothing about it. So if you if you came to your mama and your auntie today and started talking about how much you loved your husband, them bitches will look at you with so much of the side eye. They'd be like, girl, we do not want to hear that shit. He cheated on you two years ago. <laughs> That's when you know you want some evil shit. When you begin to honor your 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 Saturnian energy. When you honor your big cap energy, when you honor your direction, when you honor your higher self, when you honor your physical masculine side, when it's tangible. A lot of y'all got your baby daddy's like his number programmed in the phone. So as soon as I end the live, you can qu <laughs> hit seeing. You know what, baby? <laughs> Tyrell was asking about you earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, but no, um, I think that's it. I was going to talk about um, Jupiter conjunct Venus, but I'm already off that. Um, I think we addressed that in more ways than one. So um, if y'all got any questions, somebody said that DM me. Be sure to DM me if y'all want to talk. Um, but I'm going to get back to the crib, to the brib, and um, enjoy the rest of my day. Um, thank y'all for being such lovely patrons, such good sports. Um, I really do be like trying to provide a lot of laughs and a lot of joy in an otherwise rough winter. I know it's been a rough winter and I know a lot of people don't have the things that they know they should have, know that they deserve to have. This is why I want you to take this new moon fucking seriously. Be real about what you want. If you got a million dollars and you don't got a partner, you backwards with what you truly want. And I ain't going to say what type of partner you got to have and what kind of aspect that you got to have a partner. Maybe you asexual. Maybe you want to find a partner that don't even want to have sex. They just want to fucking read books next to you, butt naked. You understand? Maybe you want to get somebody you can be on Insta with and take naked pictures with. You feel me? Like, oh boy, and oh girl, how they be... You know, they be smoking the cigars and shit naked. Maybe you want to get you a naked bay, right? Just be open, you know? Know what you want. Um, open yourself up to that. Become very, very soft. Very, very receptive to strong spiritual energy. A lot of people will reference statistics about what you can have and what you can't have. I want you to understand this from a spiritual Understanding. I want you to understand this from a meditative understanding because everything that I've manifested is because I meditated on it and I brought it into reality. When I was a young boy and I say, mommy, I want to write a book. She say, OK, let me take you to this publishing house, publishing house. Yeah. Um, if you want us to publish this book, you're going to need to give us 10,000 straight face. Okay, mommy, um, I'll just wait until I get older to save my money and just forget about writing books. Fast forward, 2020, I want to write books. Yeah, KDP, Amazon, we just, we'll let you write the book for free. We'll print it for nothing. You understand? 
so generally, if I take previous knowledge of you need to sign up with a publishing company, you need to get a lawyer, um, people ain't going to buy your book, how they going to buy it, blah, 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 blah. You need to get with us a bookstore, um, da, 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 da. Or you ain't going to find no wife. You ain't going to do this. You ain't going to do that. You ain't going to be successful on YouTube. I mean, ain't nobody ever told me no shit like that. But I understand, you know, the self-talk or whatever. It's a lot of things that you feel like you're not going to be able to manifest. But I'm saying, do you know how to manifest, right? Do you know how to set an intention on the new moon and keep that intention as a frequency, right? as a spiritual modality that you know is going to manifest. It's a different frequency and a vibration when you hoping for some shit to happen. And then when it don't happen, you like, ah, oh, this shit didn't work. Cause you didn't have the frequency of knowing or the, or the, or the frequency of like practice to bring you into that particular alignment of manifestation. So give it a, give it a shot, give it a try. Um, manifest in full power, know exactly what you want, um, and keep it up. Because if two weeks from now, you know, you don't know what the fuck I'm talking about when I reference how your intention's going, you probably ain't even really want that shit for real. So go deep within yourself and, and then put the effort to mentally see yourself there. That's another magical trick. OK, because the mind is all. So if your mind is telling you, I don't have a boyfriend, I don't have the home I want to live in, then you create that. And you send off those frequencies to the whole entire universe that, OK, this person right there, they homeless and don't nobody want them. OK, let's keep that up. Hey, let's check out Agent 52. Yeah, yep, yep. She's still single. Don't nobody still want her. Is she still sending that message out? Yeah, she's listening to a YouTube video about the hood mist by the hood mystic. Maybe she's uh having a change of heart. Maybe okay, okay, we're sending our new signals. Okay, we're 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 starting to send new signals. She now sees herself loving in a loving, committed, faithful relationship. With all that she desires and wants. Because she said she's not fucking with a square nigga. She's fucking with big cap energy from here on out. All right, we send the signals. We send the signals. <laughs> Peace. <laughs>